Hello. Hello, friends. We're back with you. You've got questions. We've got answers. I'm Darby. I'm Brooke. And we're here to answer your questions. So as you jump on, put your questions in the chat. We'll mm -hmm. answer those. We've got an hour, Yeah. I think, going on. So um, we are excited to get going on your questions. So Brooke, let's start while we wait for people to join and ask their questions. Tell me about requirements to enroll. What do I they need to do it. to be able to enroll with BYU Pathway? Yeah, so if you are starting um, with BYU Pathway with the Pathway Connect found foundational courses, um, it's amazing. You actually do not need to have a high school diploma or secondary diploma as long as you are 18 years of age or older. Um, and you don't have to take the ACT or SAT, any sort of standardized test. Uh, you will need to partake of a English language assessment test. So if English is not your first language, you will have to participate in that. Um, it takes about 45 minutes, um, but that's it really. So we try to remove as many barriers to entry as possible. So if you're just joining us, we are here to answer your questions about BYU Pathway Worldwide, about joining um, Pathway Connect, and then moving on to BYU Idaho or Enzyme College Online. So feel free to put your questions in the chat. We'll do our best to answer those. Um, and we're here for about an hour. And then um, tell us where you're from. If you're a current student, what are you studying? Are you working on a certificate? Um, do you have your associates? Graduation is coming up in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. 12 days. Is it wow. 12 days? Yeah. That's really exciting. Yeah. It's coming in hot. Yeah. So. That's exciting. So again, the format is you put questions in the chat. We will try to answer everything we can mm -hmm. um, in the next hour. So we have our first question. I want to yeah. apply for the administrative assistance uh, certificate. Mm -hmm. Yep. But would also like to take the certification for computer programming. Is that possible? Yes. Okay, so let's elaborate. Yes. <laughs> so, yes, Brooke, tell it. us more. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so, what you're going to be able to do um, is you can you can pick one of those as your first certificate. So, typically, you'd probably start with your administrative assistant certificate. Mm -hmm. So, when you start with Pathway Connect, you'll go through your first 14 weeks um, are all about life skills, professional skills, and then. On week 15, you start your first certificate class as well as your first, uh, your your final Pathway Connect course. So you would by week 15, you're starting your administrative assistant certificate. Um, most certificates are about 15 credits and take about a year to complete. Um, there are some classes where there's a prerequisite required, so you are learning. Um, sort of building blocks, if you will. Mm -hmm. So you aren't able to take all 15 credits at once. Um, they'll come together. And so you would be able to get a certificate in administrative assistance and in com computer programming. Um, if you're interested in going for a degree, um, you would likely pick the professional studies degree, um, which I like to call choose your own adventure. Yes. <laughs> so there are some um, requirements. You would work with advising to figure out which certificates would be best for you. Um, but there is that option to go and to receive those certificates, which is awesome. Um, if you're not familiar with BYU Pathway Worldwide, one of the things that we do is called the Certificate First Model. So typically, someone goes to university and at the end they walk away with a bachelor's degree or the, the certification, if you will. Um, we do what's called the Certificate First Model. So by week 15, you are starting your first certificate. Um, with that first class and so you're going to be able to learn in the same amount of time same amount of money you would typically just walk away with a bachelor's degree you'll have three marketable certificates that mm -hmm. are job ready focused on helping you gain employment uh, as well as an associate's degree and a bachelor's degree so you'll be taking some elective classes some religion classes along the way um, but it's really designed to help you succeed and become employable quicker that was a great answer. Well, thanks. Well, and thanks everybody who's joining. I see lots of questions coming in. We're gonna to get to those as quickly as possible. So let's do um, a question from Facebook next. So the format is we'll be here for an hour and we'll answer as many questions as we have. This, this, um, this live is in English. We typically have a live in Spanish mm -hmm. um, on Fridays. If you want to join that on Fridays, you can jump in and join our Spanish speaking um, team. Um, will you tell us that in Spanish? Is that Bill? 
uh, yeah, I'm for those of you who aren't aware, I'm working on Spanish. It's not great, but I'm working. But on a basic, it. we can get a basic. I can here. get a basic. Yeah. So, uh, a las viernes uh, es una oportunidad a aprender más uh, sobre BYU Pathway y English Connect en español. Uh, cada uh, viernes en la tier, no, that's Earth. Uh, in the afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> about two. Um, Utah time is typically when they go live. Um, okay, do we have a good question over here? Yeah, so we've got, I have a question. Is BYU Pathway Worldwide thinking of offering any master's degrees in the near future? So we wish, but that's not in the current plan. Yep. Um, we have a lot, we have a lot of work to, to do to still help people get bachelor's degrees and that's where we're focused right now. Yep, so not yet, but stay tuned. Yep. Um, all right, we've got another one. Uh, what certificate will help me if I want to study psychology? Because this will be my first certificate in BYU Pathway, and in the future, I'd like to study on campus. That, so, is, that is a good question. Do you know? Yeah. So there's a couple of different options of things that you could do. So while we don't offer um, any certificates or degrees specific to psychology, we do have certificates and degrees in family and human studies. Um, and a lot of those classes are psychology based. So I would pick one of our human and family studies certificates to get started. Um, and if you're interested in going to Ensign College or BYU Idaho on campus, um, those credits are going to be offered by one of those institutions. And so it should make transferring those credits um, to a campus experience more seamless. Uh, now BYU Pathway is not designed to be a means to get someone from an online experience to a campus experience. Um, so you would need to work with that university directly. But my recommendation would be uh, a certificate in our family and human studies um, degree area. That's good. Okay, this question says, I would like to talk to someone in the TEFL class. So um, we might need a little more information about, yeah. the, are you more interested in learning about TIFL? Is it Amanda? Uh, we would love to, if you wanna elaborate and tell us a little bit more about what you'd like to know, mm -hmm. that would be a great live to do, to bring someone on. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Paul, one of our area managers, yeah. is doing some certification in TIFL right he now. Is. So yeah. he would be a good one to bring on and talk about that. Yeah, okay. that'd be a great idea. Um, yeah, he said he's taking six credits right now, so. I love it. Busy, he's busy. Learning okay. and growing. <laughs> um, this question is, which things are required to study computer programming? I love it. Okay. So in order to study computer programming, um, you really, from, excuse me, from enrolling in BYU Pathway Worldwide, um, you need a stable internet connection and you need a laptop. Um, once you enroll in BYU-Idaho or Ensign College Online, you will also need what's called an ecclesiastical endorsement as part of your registration process. So if you are a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, our sponsoring organization, uh, you will need to meet with your bishop and stake president um, that just sort of certifies that you're willing to follow the honor code. So you're honest, you're um, going to obey the rules of the university, and um, if you are not a member of the church, you can still meet with a bishop or a branch president, or you can uh, meet with your local ecclesiastical leader. So if that's a bishop or a rabbi, a priest, what have you, um, you'll need that in order to, to participate. Then you'll meet with um, the BYU-Idaho Ensign College chaplain, um, and they'll just ask you some questions to make sure that you understand what you're signing up for and the rules of participating in BYU Pathway. But we would love to have you. That's great. Um, everyone who's joining, let's get a question from over here next. Awesome. Um, we're glad to have you here. My name is Darby and this is Brooke. And this Hi. is our series called You've Got Questions, We've Got Answers, where we like to just sit down um, for about an hour and try to answer any of those questions that you've just been struggling to find an answer to, or maybe you have some confusion about. Um, so feel free to throw those questions into our chat. Um, and if we don't know the answer, we will help you try to find that answer. Mm -hmm. We'll um, do our best. If you have a question that you're not comfortable putting into the chat, that's totally fine. You can put it into a direct message um, and our team will pick that up and try to help you and get you uh, the answer that you're looking for. Oh, awesome. So we had a question that, come, that came in on Facebook about jobs. So one of the things that we ask uh, students when they are registering for the next semester is if they have a job, if they need help with a job, um, about just sort of understanding where their circumstances are at. And part of why we do that is we are working on um, working with some different employment um, staffing agencies essentially. So we, we currently work with a couple, um, Bloom and Rain, 
and um, they're both global global companies that are geared towards helping um, students around the world find remote jobs and so we are still working through some of the details there but we are working to get that up and running um, very quickly so that's part of the reason why we ask is just to have a better understanding of our students needs and um, what certificates you're taking so that way we're better prepared to go to um, potential employment partners and say hey we have X amount of students in this part of the world that are looking for employment they're studying this thing um, and this is how they can be an asset to your organization um, so many international companies are looking for people um, all over the world that speak English but want to remain in their home country and so it's an incredible opportunity um, so while you might not have heard something recently we are gathering that information so that as we build these relationships we're prepared yeah, it's more exciting than that. You're being it very, is. she's being very measured. <laughs> yes. But we're very excited about yeah. all of There's these There's a lot of really cool things coming. in the works. Okay. Yeah. So this question is, I withdrew from last semester. Can I continue immediately next semester? Um, yes. So if you, if you withdrew from last semester, so any classes that you take, that you took last semester, you won't receive credit for, um, but you should be able to go in and register for that next semester. If you have any questions or issues once you get into that, just let us know. You should be able to log into your student portal. So if you are an online certificate and degree student, no problem, you should be able to just register for that next semester. If you were a Pathway Connect student, or if you were enrolled in Pathway Connect courses, uh, you will need to complete the returning student application. So if you go to byupathway.org, you should be able to log into your student portal. Um, if you can do that, you can register for the next term, next semester mm -hmm. without any issue. If you're having trouble doing that, you might have to re-enroll or re-register. And so you would go to byupathway.org and then click on that apply for free button in gold. Uh, and then you would select your returning student. But we would love to have you back. Please come back. Um, going to school is so hard. So um, hard. There's a lot. There's a lot. Darby went back to school when she had five kids at home. I did. And Brooke's I'm going impressed. back to school. I am. In September. So we get to talk yeah. about how stressful. Starts stress at the end of this month. <gasps> Not even September. I starts at the end 20 of July. Days. 20 days. Oh, guys. <laughs> it's big. It's big. So we yeah. admire so much of our students that are going back to school. Mm -hmm. They have families and they have life and they've got so much going on. So we, yeah. we're we with you. Yeah, and we get it. Sometimes you just have to stop taking a class. It's not the right time. Yeah, we sometimes it. it is. Okay. Yeah. Let's do one from Facebook. So if you're just joining us, again, we're glad you're here. Put your questions in the chat. We'll be here for about 50 minutes more. Mm -hmm. Um, we're excited to try to answer anything you throw at us. Brooke knows most of the answers. I, I know how best. to I know how to ask most of the questions. Um, and if we don't have the answer, we'll probably ask you to uh, gather up a little bit of information, put it in a direct message for us, and we'll try to answer that not on um, live in the chat. So, okay, what do we awesome. have? Well, this one isn't so much a question but a fun shout out. Um, oh. This is from someone that says, "I started and completed." BYU Pathway in 2019, so Pathway Connect, and after that I enrolled in BYU Idaho Online from 2020 to 2022, and for the upcoming fall semester I've successfully transferred all my credits to BYU Hawaii, um, and they said I have come to realize that without BYU Pathway I would not have reached the position I'm in today. We're so excited for you to be able to go to BYU Hawaii, that is incredible, congratulations, that is a huge achievement. Mm -hmm. so and it's a beautiful campus. We're so happy that we could help you. Yeah. That's, what, that's our whole goal. So like if you come and do Pathway Connect and then you become a campus student someplace else or you, you get your certificate and you get your job, we're just thrilled to be part yeah. of your story. And we want to hear all of our student yeah. stories. So if you've got something to share, let us know. Let us know. Okay, um, I have a question. I will be, so this is a campus question. I'm going to be completing Pathway Connect 103. In, mm -hmm. um, they're doing that in September yep. or whenever that starts. And then can I finish campus in the U.S.? So if you are interested in going to a church school campus, um, you would need to work through that with that university. So BYU Pathway was not designed um, to help people become a campus student. So you are able to do that if you want to transfer, but you would need to go to that institution's website and figure out what are their requirements. So here at BYU Pathway, uh, you can study online through BYU-Idaho or Enzyme College, uh, wherever you live currently. Now, if you wanted to go be a BYU-Idaho or Enzyme College campus student, mm -hmm. you would need to go to byui.edu or enzyme.edu uh, to learn more about the requirements for becoming a campus student. Okay, yeah. do we have another good Facebook one? We've had a lot come in and I 
I've yeah. seen these beforehand. <laughs> We've got a couple of, uh, one uh, follow-up on the ecclesiastical endorsement. So someone says that they submitted it in March, um, but they're not able to register yet. So I would say, uh, Gloria, if you have met with your, have you met with your bishop or, or stake president or your ecclesiastical leaders? Um, if you have, then we've got a team that can sort of look into seeing what's happen, what's happening. If you haven't, um, you'll want to make that appointment with your with the executive secretary and your ward or branch, so that the process can get moving. So there's a, a portion where you'll fill out by going to endorse.byu.edu, mm -hmm. um, but then your bishop has to click a button um, to say yes, they're, that you're endorsed and can move forward. Um, there was another question about ecclesiastical endorsements and how long they last. So they're good for one year, um, and then you have to meet with your um, local leaders um, to get started. Okay. So. We have a couple of questions mm -hmm. on either side about wanting to do a master's degree. Yeah. So let's hit those. So BYU Pathway um, is only a means to get your bachelor's degree yep. right now. Will that change in the future? We don't know. They don't tell us everything. No. We wish they did. <laughs> but right now we're focused on helping a lot of people get their bachelor's degree. And yep. so um, that's kind of to cover anything. If you're like, I want to study a master's degree, we don't have that right now. Yeah. Um, but I think there was one over here about like they wanted to go into economics. So their question yeah. might be what would be like a good pathway to do yeah. that. So if you don't have a bachelor's degree yet, I would recommend probably our business degree. So we have a degree in applied business um, and economics is typically in the business school or business college at most universities. Um, and so if you wanted to get a master's in economics, getting a uh, bachelor's degree in business is usually a good start um, but there's lots of different options and and BYU Pathway might not be the best option for you um, we think it's a great option for lots of people mm -hmm. um, but we know that sometimes there are other opportunities either closer to home or um, sort of that offer programs that we don't currently offer um, all of our degrees are really centered on trying to help people become uh, employable, marketable skills um, right off the bat. So sometimes there are things that, that aren't, aren't the best for us. Um, we've got a couple of other questions coming in here that I think would be great. Yeah, um, let's do that and then I've got one over here for us. Awesome. So are there any scholarships available for adults? Yes, there are. Yes. Okay, we have an amazing scholarship. And by scholarship, we mean a tuition discount. Because in some parts of the world, scholarships need to be repaid. That is not the case with the Heber J. Grant Scholarship. The no. Heber J. Grant Scholarship is available to all students. And it's um, at least 10% up to 50% depending yep. on your need. So after you apply to BYU Pathway, which is very short, I promise. I have done it myself and I have been a Pathway, I have taken Pathway Connect courses. So I know this from experience, very short experience. Um, you're gonna get prompted to apply for the Heber J. Grant Scholarship. And that's gonna take around 45 minutes. Um, and it really takes that long because you're reading some passages, watching some videos, or reading some video transcripts. And then uh, based on your answers, you have either 10, is it? 10, 25, 25 or 50% 50 tuition discount um, applied. Yeah. And that is available to all of our students. Yes. Yeah. And that stays with you. So you can start getting it while you are a Pathway Connect student. Uh, and then when you continue on to BYU Idaho or Enzyme College Online, that, that tuition discount stays with you. So every couple of years, you'll have to refill out the module, answer some mm -hmm. questions, because um, we want to understand if anything has changed in your life. If you are a current student and have had a major change, major um, financial change in your life, please reach out to your peer mentor. Um, we can see if there are things that we can do to try to, to help um, ease tuition that next semester. Um, so please don't just drop out if you've had something come up. Please reach out to your peer mentor. We want to do anything we can to try to help you stay enrolled and stick with it because we know how hard it is to start um, and then how hard it is to come back. But if you're thinking like, can I come back? Can I do it? You can. You can. <laughs> you can. We are cheering you on. Heaven is cheering you on. You are not doing this alone. Yeah. So. Gotcha. Okay. We have a question over here yeah. and it sounds like this individual, um, they're from Brazil and they said, yeah. I really want to, I really want to do BYU Pathway, but I can't pass the test to enroll. Do you have any tips? And then a follow-up says, most people I know say they ask for help, but at the beginning of the test, it talks about honesty. What should I do? Yeah. So great question. I recently took Pathway Connect 
subject and I was surprised at how academic the language is. And so if you're referring to the language test, which I think you are, um, you want to be prepared yeah. because it's really hard to be successful in a foreign language doing academic work. And so that's my take on it. What's yeah. your thoughts on that, Brooke? Yeah, I completely agree. So it is, it's hard. I, as you, if you've been on for a while, I just tried to tell you about a live in Spanish. So I'm trying to learn a foreign language and it is hard. I can't imagine going to school in a second language. Mm -hmm. So I am, we're so impressed with what you're doing. Um, but it's really important that you have that English level to succeed. If you don't, um, you know, if you can't pass the English language assessment on your own, you're not gonna do as well in BYU Pathway and it's gonna be a really hard experience. Um, so our recommendation would be to start with English Connect. So English Connect is another program provided by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, and it is designed to help you learn English from having zero English skills or abilities all the way to, you know, intermediate mid where you can succeed in a, in a professional situation. So you can visit englishconnect.org uh, to learn more and that website is in several languages so if you want to um, visit that yourself or or go with a friend um, we would be happy to help you can send us a direct message on Instagram or Facebook mm -hmm. um, and we can we can send you there um, English Connect also run English Connect 3 runs the same semesters as BYU Pathway um, we also have had some students who have enrolled uh, in both Pathway Connect and English Connect so they scored high enough to be successful in mm -hmm. English Connect but they didn't feel like my pronunciation or I'm not as confident in speaking mm -hmm. but I feel Feel really good about my writing and my reading but they so they came to English Connect just really to work on their pronunciation and to have those conversation practice at points that they have during the gathering these are great questions if you're just joining us I'm Darby I'm Brooke and this is our series called you've got questions we've got answers where we try to answer in an hour yep as many as we can as <laughs> many as we can and there are some great ones coming in so if you're just jumping on I know you can't see all the questions that have been in before you but there's um, some questions we're working on on Facebook and Instagram because we're on both of those right now and we're gonna try to answer all of those questions so um, let's see what we have next okay um, Okay. What can I do if I have like failed at the end of a class? Do I have yeah. to retake everything? This is a great question we get asked all the time. Yep. Okay. So if you um, ended up failing a semester or a term um, for any reason, you can come back and retake that term. Um, so in order to finish Pathway Connect and continue on to BYU-Idaho or Ensign College Online, you do need to have a cumulative 3.0 GPA or higher. Um, but what that means is you could get an A in PC 101, a D in PC 102, and an A in 103. It'll average itself out. Um, so we want you to actually you can't get a D. You have to have a C minus or above. So you could get a C minus in PC 102. So the GPA averages itself out. So it's really designed to help you succeed. But if you end up with you finish Pathway Connect and you have a 2.8 or a 2.9. Mm -hmm. All is not lost. You don't have to start over. You can really just go back and take PC 102 or 103, 101, whichever class you didn't do so hot in. <laughs> so one of my favorite things about work is she lists all the possible examples that I can't could possibly help myself. exist. But it's true. You can just retake the one that you did poorly in. You don't need to retake everything mm -hmm. um, and you don't need to feel like... Um, you have to start back at the beginning yeah. that's not the case and you're not a failure if you fail the class yeah. I know it's hard to like you might feel that way of like oh my gosh how did this happen yeah. but life happens, it happens. sometimes I you mean, got family you if got... you saw my PC 103 grade you'd be like but it was a very busy time yeah for my family and so I did my best and that's still got you can do. a decent average so um okay these are wonderful questions. Thank you for asking them. We've got a few more coming in. Here's a good question, Brooke. How do you match a student's skills, strengths, or interests to a major? Great question. So we have how many majors? Seven? Yep. We have seven majors. So, do you want to? No, I, I, well, oh, okay, let me, see, let me try. <laughs> Business? Yes. Health? Yes. There's a technology one? There's two technology ones. There's two ones. technology ones. That's where we go from six to seven. Uh-huh. We have professional studies. Yep. And there's a family, there's like a family one. 
What is it There's called? There's uh, Human and Family Studies. That's seven. I got them. That's six, Darby. One, two, oh. three, four, five, six. Seven is communication. <laughs> that was amazing. That was really embarrassing. <laughs> I thought because I got the extra one, I would have. You got that, no. Anyway, there's a communication one, too. Um, so how do so, we match? How do we match it with the students? So, okay, so there's a couple of different options. So um, one thing that you can do, you can chat with your peer mentor and say, hey, here's the things I'm interested in. What did you study? How does that work? Uh, you can also um, talk with advising. So once you matriculate onto BYU-Idaho or Enzyme College Online, you have academic advisors that you can say, hey, here's the things I'm interested in, or mm -hmm. hey, I participated in... Um, this class or that class, I've got some transfer credits, what can I do? Um, your advisor is gonna be able to help you. So we are getting through as many questions as we can. We've mm -hmm. got a bunch in the queue, so if your question hasn't been answered yet, please hold tight. We promise we are getting to them just as quickly as we can. I think we need to do some from Facebook. Yes. So we're gonna answer some questions. Again, if you've just popped on and you have a question that you're just dying to ask, um, we're, we're also doing another one this week. We're gonna do yes, one on Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday night in the US. So Sunday daytime for um, those of you that might be in the Pacific or Asia, um, it'd be a good time for you mm -hmm. on a Sunday afternoon. So we would love to answer more questions. Um, so you get two of us this week, it'll be great. Yes. Okay, what's our question over here? All right, we've got, um, I applied and got accepted for the upcoming fall semester for Pathway Connect, uh, yay. But at the same time, I applied for BYU Hawaii. If I get accepted to BYU Hawaii, is there any way to still continue continue with Pathway Connect? I applied for a winter semester for BYU Hawaii and I don't want, to wa don't want my credits to go to waste. So from what I understand, I don't think, I, this is a little bit more technical, so um, if you can send us a direct message, we're happy to, to confirm. But from my understanding, um, the credits that you receive during Pathway Connect um, would transfer to BYU-Hawaii. Um, we do have a partnership with BYU-Hawaii. Um, if you live in uh, Asia, Pacific, the Philippines, um, sort of in those target regions that are really designed to serve BYU-Hawaii, if you finish Pathway Connect, uh, you will actually receive preferential enrollment to BYU Hawaii. So it might be advantageous to finish Pathway Connect and then apply again for BYU Hawaii if you don't get in this time. Um, there's a great opportunity and partnership there with BYU Hawaii. Again, that's really just designed for those students who live in Asia, the Pacific, and the Philippines. Mm -hmm. um, but we're excited for you and BYU Hawaii is an amazing school. Uh, so. Amazing. Okay, we have a jobs question, Brooke. Yeah. So they're just, I'm currently working in hospitality, tourism management. It sounds like that's kind of a degree and the focus that they're working on or their certificates. Mm -hmm. um, do we have any job partnerships that focus on those yet? I know, so for full context, we're really working a lot on jobs and yeah. everything surrounding jobs. Um, we don't have every answer yet. No. But I don't know if we have anything specifically for that that we can talk about right now. So we don't have anything necessarily specific to hospitality and tourism management. We don't have like a partnership with a hotel yeah. chain or a car rental or things like that. Um, but I will say, those of you who are working on a hospitality and tourism management certificate, there is a great need for those around the world. Um, I'm thinking just off the top of my head of an example from one of our students in Argentina. Um, he got a certificate in hospitality and tourism management. He also was able to learn English through English Connect. And so when he applied for the largest Marriott in South America, he was able to get that job because he spoke English. He had a degree from a US accredited university for a US based company. Um, and he was very highly sought after um, in the industry. So I know that um, it's hard, but it is possible to get a degree um, or to get a job in the hospitality and tourism management certificates. Certificates. So That's it's a, a great option. Yes. Do we have another one from Facebook that we want to go to next? Yeah, we've got. This is a nice, what what advice? So, um, what advice would you have for someone who wants to work remotely, um, and they're pursuing their business course, business mm -hmm. courses? Can someone achieve those dreams? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. advice do we have though? Yeah. That is good. Um, time, manage so, time management yes. is a really big part of that. Demonstrating, I, and that's I think the advantage of doing remote schooling also, is you have this track record 
and history of self-management, which a lot of employers are looking for if they're gonna give you the opportunity to work remotely. They need to know that you're managing your time well. So um, making sure that on your LinkedIn that you um, identify some of those skills yeah. like you would on a resume that you have the ability to self-govern and self-manage is yeah. gonna play really well. And I would say the other other part about that you know, sort of time management piece is looking for um, President Ashton, who's the president of BYU Pathway. He he sh shared a story about he was a mission leader, and he and his wife were were leading the Texas Houston South Mission, and they had a newborn baby. And he said there were some nights where they were like, I don't know how much we're gonna sleep. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. And before he went to bed, they would and say okay Heavenly Father based on everything that we have going on I think I'm gonna get X hours of sleep will you please help magnify those hours so that it will be enough and that the the sleep that I get will be enough to do all the things that are required of me um, and that was such a powerful example for me and so I think that that's something that you know don't lose sight that you have heaven's help <laughs> available to you um, and you know maybe something you can do is say okay Heavenly Father I've looked at my schedule I've looked at what time I have available I think I can dedicate this amount of time or these hours to my studies um, these hours to working these hours to my family and, and church responsibilities and different things um, and ask him to magnify your time I know that he will yeah that's great okay um, I'm from Brazil and I've applied for BYU Idaho. Sounds like they've gone through Pathway Connect. I'm just waiting for the result to get in. How long should it take? Great question. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we have um, folks that are working through through getting through those applications and processing everything. So if you have if you've started your application to BYU Idaho or Enzyme College Online and you haven't heard back, don't fret. They are going through those. Um, it's going to take a few weeks for them to go through all of the requirements, everything that they need to, um, and you need to make sure that you've got your ecclesiastical endorsement um, as part of that. Mm -hmm. Now again, that's required to be updated every, every year, um, and if you have any issues or questions, um, feel free to send us a direct message on Instagram or Facebook. We'll do our best to get those resolved um, and try to point you in the right direction. Okay, this is great. We're about halfway through. We've got about 30 minutes left, um, and I feel like we're cruising today. We've got a <laughs> lot of questions so over here, though, in the yes. queue. Um, so thank you, everyone who's joining us. Um, my name is Darby, and this is Brooke, and this is our series called You've Got Questions, We've Got Answers, where we try, it's like a game now, we try to yeah. answer as many questions <laughs> as we possibly can in the course of about an hour. Yep. Um, and I think we've got another one that just came in from Facebook that we're going to go to next. Yes. So, um... One of the questions is about scholarships. So do we have scholarships for adults? Do we have scholarships for international students? You bet we do. It's called the Heber J. Grant Scholarship. Mm -hmm. It's a guaranteed 10 to 50% tuition discount, meaning that you do not need to pay it back when you are done. Um, it's available to all of our students. After yep. you apply, you will go to what's called your student portal, which just means you log into your student space. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get a prompt that says, hey, you haven't applied yet. Um, for the tuition discount, you're going to go through, it takes about 45 minutes to walk through all the videos and reading components. You're going to answer some questions. And that is going to be automatically applied to your, like, it's like a coupon code yep. is what it looks like. Um, and that lasts for two years. And if for some reason in between now and two years from now, your life has changed and you need more help and you could use some more assistance, um, you will have what's called a peer mentor. If you have, if you're not a current student, you don't know what that means. That is just um, someone else who has also uh, gone through Pathway Connect like you and been a student. They are assigned to help you, and they yep. have a collection of students that they help, and they know how to get around. They know how to ask for they know how to ask for help, and they can help you reapply for that. Um, maybe some more help in your in your tuition. Yep. And if you um, have recently returned home from a full-time mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you are also eligible for a return missionary tuition discount. So if you've returned home from a mission in the last five years or 60 months, you qualify for this tuition discount. It stacks with the Heber J. Grant tuition mm -hmm. discount. So anyone who has is a young return missionary, um, whether you were a proselyting missionary, a service missionary, Give all the all same. the examples, Brett. All the examples. <laughs> Can't help myself. Um, and so we are 
are so excited to be able to have this opportunity where students receive 35, at least 35% um, off of their tuition discount, off of their tuition. Now, the tuition discount comes into play after you enroll, but before you pay your tuition. So you're not gonna see that you have this tuition discount, this scholarship, until you actually uh, go ahead and enroll. So there, it's a great opportunity. Um, and if you have any questions about it, send us a direct message. The other great thing about this return missionary tuition discount is that it's good for five years from the day you return home from your mission. Mm -hmm. So if you come home from uh, your mission and you participate in Pathway Connect and you've got that done in that 28 weeks, then you're going to be able to keep that tuition discount as you matriculate on to BYU, Idaho, and Ensign College. Now that is just good for for those five years. So once you reach, you know, six years home, that 25% tuition discount goes away. But it's really me a means to try to help as many uh, recently returned missionaries get back into the swing of school. Um, and thanks to really generous donors, um, the Heber J. Grant tuition discount is available for all students. So sometimes you think like, oh, I'm doing okay. Like, I don't yeah. need this tuition Doesn't discount. Matter. Just do it. Do it. Yeah. You're eligible. Um, we've got generous donors that make that all possible. Um, and so we're so grateful for that. Yeah. Okay, I have an English Connect question. Yeah. This says, I finished English Connect 3. Um, can I gain admission to the program? Yeah. So when you come and apply for BYU Pathway, there will be, if English is not your first language, there will be an English assessment test that you go through, um, and that will determine if you're ready. And the reason it's not automatic is um, the language is very, very academic uh, when you start Pathway Connect, and that's to prepare you for going into your degree program at BYU, through BYU Idaho or Ensign College. Um, I know when I took Pathway Connect, um, I was I we had a conversation about this. I was actually really surprised because I was like, oh, it's no, it's like going to school. Um, it's, it's very academic, and they want to be prepared. And so, um, finishing English Connect is part of that. If English isn't your first language, um, you can go ahead and do an application and see how you score. Um, but you want to be prepared, and so. Um, we, and we want you to be prepared so yeah. that you are very successful. So if that's where you're at, I would encourage you to do that and see if you are ready for Pathway Connect. Yep, okay. definitely. Let's keep going. Um, all right, we've got someone who says, I've been following, I've been working on a bachelor's degree for business management, um, but then I suddenly had to stop due to some personal reasons. Can I continue again? Yes. 100%, please do it. Please come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we would love to have you back. Um, you're going to need to go to BYUPathway.org, click on that apply for free, um, let us know that you're a returning student and you can pick back up. Um, we would love to have you back. If there's any sort of um, tuition payments that weren't made, those would need to be made before you can register for the next semester. Um, if you're an online degree student, you'd also need your ecclesiastical endorsement. Um, but it is 100% possible and we would love to have you back. Mm -hmm. So please, please, please go yeah. ahead and do that. Send us a direct message if you've got any questions or something's not working out. I love it. Um, All right, Brooke, we have 20 minutes. Okay. Let's keep going. Is love there a it. hospitality and tourism management course through BYU-Idaho online? Love it. So, so it's actually offered through Enzyme College. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, through BYU Pathway, but it's um, Enzyme College is the one that gives the uh, hospitality and tourism management certificate. Uh, it is a fully U.S. accredited certificate, mm -hmm. and we would love to, to help you get there. Okay. So. Um, quick question about which kind of degrees we offer. It's yep. bachelor's degree level only. Um, you, can, you also get your associates as part of your degree. Yep. Um, we currently do not have any um, master's degrees or PhD programs as part of um, BYU Pathway. Yeah. So if that's what your question is about, maybe in the future, but we don't, yep. we don't have any of that right now. Um, okay, quick Spanish one right here, I think. Yeah. They need to retake a course. So if you okay. want to, um, you're not sure how to retake a course. So one second. Same one right there. Okay. Um, Sakura Brown on uh, in Instagram. Instagram. Uh, visita un web page byupathway .org slash a pet um you're gonna uh, uh, 
sorry, I'm trying to think in Spanish and I'm not very good at it yet. So <laughs> um, if anyone is a Spanish speaker, if you could answer, help me answer, they are wondering if there's a way for them to answer or to talk to someone in Spanish. Um, and they can visit byupathway.org slash APPT um, and they can actually book an appointment to talk with someone in Spanish. Good. Okay, this individual says, um, I've done BTEC from civil engineering and I have four more years of experience. I want to apply for a master's. Brooke, master's degrees. Great. So BYU Pathway does not have master's degrees. So if that's something that you are interested in, um, you'll need to find either a local university or another online university that offers um, master's degrees, but BYU Pathway does not currently um, offer that. Okay. So. so this question is, what kind of courses do you have? So we have seven bachelor's degrees. I'm gonna try it again. Business, yes. communications, health, uh, two technologies, uh -huh. Uh, professional studies in family and I can't take human that relations. One. Human relations. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to byupathway.org, there is, I believe it says certificates um, and degrees on the main menu bar, and you can look. There are a number of certificates um, and more associate's degrees, and everything kind of filters into those seven bachelor's degrees. So if you're interested in a little bit more like finance, um, but you want to do a business degree, you're going to be able to kind of see that there are some more specialities inside yeah. of that. And if you go to byupathway.org and then um, click on certificates and degrees, you're gonna be able to see everything that's offered. Um, and this is recording, this is being recorded, so mm -hmm. you can share this with friends, you can come back and rewatch it if you'd like. Um, and then um, we've got a couple of other questions here on Facebook. Um, so someone said, I am about to start my mission. Congratulations. Awesome. Um, and they're wondering if they can continue the program while they're serving a mission. So that's not currently um, available in most instances. So if you are a, are you, if you are serving as a service missionary um, with the permission of your mission leaders, you are able to continue with Pathway Connect during your service mission. Um, so unfortunately, it's not something that is uh, widely available for, for missionaries currently. Um, but go ahead and speak with your mission leaders if that's something that you're interested in doing. Um, and you can have that conversation one on one. Awesome. Okay, the next question is, when will the next semester start? It is September 11th. So um, our the registration is right at the end of August. If you're thinking about joining, go ahead and get your application um, started and then classes start September 11th, which is coming up really soon. So fast. So fast. So we're so, looking at about two months right yep. now. So visit byupathway.org um, to go ahead and get started. You can click on the gold apply for free button. Um, and it's a great opportunity for you to learn and grow. Um, you'll be paired with people from your part of the world um, to learn and grow and participate. Um, and we are so excited to have, have people. We've got thousands of people already enrolled for the mm -hmm. fall. Um, and we'd love to have you join us. If you are um, interested in going directly to BYU, Idaho or Enzyme College online, that is also an option. Um, and so you'd be able to do that as well. If you have any questions about doing that, you can um, send us a direct message and we'd be happy to walk you through what that looks like. Okay. Next question is, when will you have an accounting degree online? So unfortunately, we don't get to make that decision. Yeah. Um, I believe there are accounting certificates. Yes. Is there an associate's that's accounting too, or is it not that specific? No, it's it, business um, is the associate's degree that's associated with accounting, but there are certificates in, um, in accounting. So it's a great option for you to come and learn um, and take those classes. Yeah, I think my sister is doing the business degree and do, has been doing a lot of accounting parts um, to help run their business. So, uh, but we don't get to make that decision. They haven't given no. us that. Just I no. mean, maybe eventually. <laughs> okay, next uh, question from Facebook. Yeah, um, so this person is saying that they are um, they're almost done with their bachelor's degree through BYU Idaho. They're nearing eight years. Congratulations, that is hard work. Mm -hmm. um, and so their degree planner isn't showing any blocks beyond this year to add any courses. Um, and I might take one more year to finish. Will I be able to go beyond that eight year mark? Yes. So if you need to take more than eight years, that's fine. Um, I would talk with your academic advisor or your peer mentor. Um, 
but my guess is it's sort of thinking, oh, you could probably finish in this amount of time, but don't feel that pressure. Um, I would just reach out to your peer mentor or your advisor um, and you'll be able to continue on. So awesome. if you're just joining us, this is our series. You've got questions, we've got answers. Yeah, and we're here for another 15 minutes and then we'll be back Saturday yep. around 9.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, yep. um, which I know is a variety of times <laughs> in other places. So we wanted to um, to jump on again twice this week. So the next question I have, Brooke, is, hey, I've been, I finished Pathway Connect. I'm trying to matriculate. I'm trying yep. to go into BYU Idaho and I'm struggling. Awesome. I'm, I'm stuck. Okay. What's the path there? So um, in your student portal, um, you've got a couple of options. One, you can book an appointment to talk with an enrollment counselor. So if you go to byupathway.org slash APPT, you're going to be able to um, chat with someone directly, answer those questions, and um, we would love to help. Um, well, they'll be able to actually um, walk you through if you can log into your student portal. If you know what your student ID number is, you can send us a direct message with your student ID number. We can, uh, we've got some technical support people that might be able to help answer mm -hmm. what's going on. Um, but without being in your student portal, it's hard for us to give a specific answer. Um, but we're excited that you're, you're interested in coming back and, and moving on to that next step. Um, someone had said eight years for a bachelor's degree. Now, the nice thing about BYU Pathway, I'll get into this. Yes, you I can love take it. as much or as little as your life allows. Yeah. And so, eight years um, sounds like they've been busy. So, yeah. does it typically take eight years? It doesn't. A traditional um, U.S. degree takes four years or 120 credits, which equal out to about four years. I mean, BYU Idaho and Ensign College actually offer three full semesters. So, you could do it a little bit faster, you can do it slower. Um, we're just here to celebrate getting it done. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, we have some people who say I can only manage either personally or financially all of the above to take one class at a time. Yeah. And that's great. You're getting it done. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to take you a little longer, but that's okay. So, um, we've had some people finish in as few as like two or three years and as many as, you know, eight, 10 plus. Yeah. So we want people to just continue to succeed, um, and move forward. So as many classes as you can take, we think is great. Um, but it's not required to take a specific number of classes each, each semester. Yep. Which is, which is great. Just take one. Yep. At least take Just keep one. keep it going. Okay, is the English course for English-speaking countries? Now, if you're referring to English Connect, that is for anyone who English is not their first language. And we even have some native English speakers that have done yeah. it. So I'm thinking of a gentleman named um, David oh, in, the, you're in, right. in yeah. the Caribbean. And um, he had to leave school when he was in junior high. Um, he had some family needs, and so he wasn't able to finish. And so he joined English Connect just to work on his English abilities. Mm -hmm. Even though he could speak English perfectly, um, he wanted to learn more about the grammar and sentence structure and practice writing and getting that, that perspective and, and support. So even if English is your native language, you could benefit from English Connect as well. Um, but it's really designed to help people who don't know any English, take them to an intermediate, um, mid-level in speaking, writing, comprehension. Great. Okay, um, we're continuing. I know we have kind of a backlog on Facebook we're trying to get through. Yeah. Um, but real quick, do you know if there's any accommodations for disabled students in Pathway Connect and how we can how we can find those? Yes. So um, it's done on a case by case basis, and so uh, after you enroll, but before you pay your tuition, you can um, chat with your peer mentor, uh, and they'll be able to understand what's going on in your life and be able to say, okay, great, here's an accommodation that can or can't be made. So um, you can also book an appointment with an enrollment counselor, um, byupathway.org/appt, mm -hmm. um, and you'll be able to to book a time that is most helpful for you, and and get that done. Okay, next question here is how do I apply for English Connect? That's an easy answer. Go to EnglishConnect.org, mm -hmm. O-R-G, O-R-G, or, or <laughs> okay. um, and you can apply right there. There are three levels in English Connect, one, two, and three. Um, 
is, and they have a little bit of a description of, of what level you would fall into. Um, it's pretty easy and straightforward to apply to that. Um, English 1 and 2 are currently offered like at the local level, so like your ward or your stake, your area that you live in. Um, and English Connect 3 is um, has a small fee attached mm -hmm. to it. It's very small and that is to help with some of the in-person yep. um, components of that. And you're going to have a lot of speaking practice and it's going to get you really prepared for either if you just want to, you know, learn English better for your current job or your current life or if you're preparing to enter um, into Pathway Connect and start working on your degree. Okay, yeah, let's hit a bunch of these. All right. We've got a question about hospitality and tourism management. Yes, we do have a certificate in mm -hmm. hospitality and tourism management. Um, it's a great certificate. If you want to learn more, you can go to BYUPathway.org um, and click on the button that says Certificates and Degrees, and you'll see a complete list of all of the certificates, associates, and bachelor's degrees that we offer. I love it. Okay. Uh, if you're just joining us, I'm Darby and this is Brooke. This is our series got, it's called You've Got Questions, We've Got Answers, where we try in about an hour to answer as many questions as we can. It's very fast, very rapid fire. If we don't get to your question, if we don't answer it completely, send us a message. We'll also be back. Uh, we usually come back at least once a week and we're doing two this week. We're doing one at 9.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time or Mountain Daylight Time, Utah Time. Um, for anyone who wants to come back and ask us more questions, so, all right, yeah. what's our next question, Brooke? It. Um, someone is asking if the degree is valid in Germany um, or valid elsewhere. So, what I will say is that the degrees are U.S. accredited. So, each each country, most countries will say, yep, we, we honor, we understand a U.S. accredited degree. Um, we understand what that means, what mm -hmm. that takes, and they're willing to accept that. Um, now, each employer, each country is a little bit different, um, but we would say nine times out of 10, they're going to acknowledge or accept a U.S. accredited degree around the world, which mm -hmm. is really amazing. Um, and then um, someone's asking, what is a communication degree or what's it about? Okay, so you've asked the perfect person because Brooke was a communications major. Hello. So you can kind of talk about a little yeah. bit what to expect from a communications degree and where would you use that? Yeah, um, so communication is awesome. Um, and the way that the BYU-Idaho or Enzyme College communication degree is set up is it's really about practical communication. So you're going to take writing, some public speaking, you're going to um, understand more about advertising, marketing, uh, public relations. You're able to really sort of dive into how am I communicating with key stakeholders. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at and understanding who's my audience and what's the best medium to get to them. Um, and so working with Darby, she called me one night and said, what if we just go live? What if we just try to meet our students and prospective students where they're at and just hop on Facebook? And, and it's been pretty successful. Yeah. <laughs> and it's meeting where people are at. Yep. So it's all, communication is all about understanding how and where and why someone likes to be communicated and then sort of meeting that need. Um, so you can work for any type of company doing communications. There's internal communications, mm -hmm. external communications. You can send us a direct message. I'm happy to answer other questions. Brooke loves talking about communications. It's the best. Um, okay, I see two other really great qu questions coming in from Facebook. We've got oh, eight minutes, so we're going to yep. try to hit these two, and we'll see what else we have time for. Um, that we always get questions about transferring. So yep. if I if I want to transfer to BYU Idaho or BYU Hawaii, what's mm -hmm. your answer for that, Brooke? Yeah. So you would need to work with those institutions specifically. So BYU Pathway is not designed to be a means to transfer someplace else. Um, it's really designed to help people gain an, an education wherever they live. Um, now there are options if you are from the Asia Rim or the Pacific um, and are interested in going to BYU Hawaii. We do have a partnership with BYU Hawaii um, for people who live in those countries. Outside of that, we do not have any sort of partnership or means to get to campus. So if you are interested in transferring to BYU Idaho, Ensign BYU, another US accredited institution, uh, you'd need to work with them directly. And even mm -hmm. to transfer to BYU Hawaii, if you're from Asia Pacific, you would still work with BYU Hawaii directly you would just make note that you've completed Pathway Connect with a 3.0 or higher. Um, and so you would want to go to their website, find out what rules they have about transferring, 
Um, and so with the, the BYU Hawaii partnership, it's really just preferred admission mm -hmm. um, because you've participated in a CES school and you're from one of those target areas that BYU Hawaii was really designed to serve. Okay. That's great. We have another question about how long will, how long is it going to take me to finish my bachelor's degree? Yeah. Okay, so a bachelor's degree is typically 120 credits mm -hmm. um, and that averages out to about four years if you took courses full-time, meaning 12, 14 credits um, a semester, which is three or four classes depending on how many credits a class is. If credits are not familiar to you, yeah. let us try to explain. One credit equals three hours of coursework. So if you're taking a three, a three credit course, you're looking, and that's every week, about nine hours of coursework. Now, some classes are gonna be easier for you and some classes yeah. are gonna be harder, but that's, and that's why they give the average. So as you start to look at your availability and your time, we had a question, or somebody commented a minute ago that it took them eight years. Um, and that's likely that's because um, they just took a couple classes at a time because you start to multiply by three hours each credit and yeah. you say, I have time for this much. Um, and my sister is a current student um, expected to graduate next year and she's yeah. in summer and she's like, I can do two during the summer because it's very busy, you know, and then, and sometimes she'll take a, a slightly easier class with a, with a harder class in her major. So, um, that's what to expect. It's an, like a normal U S degree is about four years. Yep. If you, that's, if you take, you know, 12 to 14 credits every semester. Um, hopefully that answers that question. Um, Okay, do we have any other ones? We've got five minutes. We're so glad everybody's here. We try to answer all these questions, but we will be back. Yeah. Uh, we will be back in a couple days. Yep. So, and we have folks that stand by all the time. So we've got team members that answer direct messages. So, well, we're happy to answer these questions live. If you have questions, you can also send us a direct message on Instagram or Facebook and a team member will do their best. Um, we usually are able to get back to folks within a day. Um, there are times where our DMs are really busy and so it takes a little bit longer. Sometimes if it's a really technical question, we might have to pull in another team or get their experience. Um, if you are a current student, we would recommend you reach out to your peer mentor. So um, if you're not familiar with that term, every student at BYU Pathway has a peer mentor. So it's someone who's there to help them, to encourage them, um, to answer their questions. I like to call them their academic bestie. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so if you go to, if you're like, oh, I don't know who my peer mentor is, mm -hmm. um, if you go to BYUPathway.org, um, you can actually ask in the lower right hand corner, it says need help. Um, and you can say, who's my peer mentor? You log in and it'll actually give you their contact information. So if you aren't in touch with them yet, you'll be able to get in touch with them pretty quick. That's fantastic. Okay, now we're gonna wrap up. We're not gonna take any more questions, but we thank everybody for showing up. The next semester starts September 11th. Yep. Um, get those applications in the end of August yep. or today. Yeah, um, it's BYUPathway.org. BYUPathway.org, it's very fast. If you have any other questions, we'll be back. We typically have a live with um, some colleagues that they do on Friday afternoons, mountain time around 2 p.m. So if you're wanting to get a little more information and talk to some Spanish speakers, that's another really great opportunity. Um, but like Brooke said, send us a direct message, let us know your questions. Um, but we love answering your questions and we're happy to do that here if you have another one you wanna ask yeah. us next time. Awesome. Awesome, Thank it's been you. great, bye.